My shout out this week goes to a Togolese scientist, Victor Abneno, living in Paris. I'm so sorry if I didn't say his name correctly. He invented the world's most affordable wireless communication system known as PWCS. This thing transmits voice, internet, yes, internet, and video connections. Now, as you guys know, using the internet is not cheap in Africa. I mean, maybe when I go to Nigeria at least. I've heard that Africa spends three times more than other continents to use the internet. Africa has the most expensive broadband access in the world, with monthly data packages costing about three times more than on any other continent. Benny, video takes forever to load, at least in Aya. <laughs> and then you watch half of Keeping It Real and your data is already gone. Eh? <laughs> and you know what makes this man's invention special? Users don't need to subscribe to anything, any plan. You know, there's no monthly fees. I'm telling you, this is the deal. In fact, no telecoms cables involved. The PWC system receives a satellite data signal and is then able to disseminate the signal via PWC transmitters over great distances making telecoms cabling unnecessary. You have to give kudos to this man and his friends. They are not just providing data. They decided to give out countless cool bags that would have solar power and a tablet in them, as well as a cell phone. À l'intérieur, nous avons donc la tablette. So the tablet would be powered by the solar power panels that you have installed into the backpack that every child would have. Oui, c'est ça. How wonderful! That way students can recharge their tablet so that they can continue working even at night. Now this is so practical. Even if the school is under a tree, these students will be able to learn. These students can have their tablets working so long as they don't lose their backpack, their school bag. And they can charge their cell phones as well. My dear, can you call somebody? Seriously, we need to get in touch with this man. For real, if anyone knows how we can link up with this man at a Kawa Foundation, ah, help out your girl now. Please don't hesitate. Eh? We need to partner with somebody like this. And the best part of this is that this product was created primarily for Africans in Africa. Nous, notre group que nous constituons, a des produits avec la finalité de l'usage et de l'utilité. D'abord, pour l'Afrique, si demain ça peut servir pour d'autres, il n'y a pas de problème. Isn't that wonderful? Even though he lives in Paris, he wants his people to have access to the internet like he does. See, that is somebody that understands the meaning of empowering people, not just, you know, sending them aid. Now, you will think the whole world will be excited that finally, Africa is also getting top wireless communication system. Uh-uh, no. Listen to this. The PWC system has been hailed as revolutionary and Victor has had several lucrative offers from both America and Europe to buy his patented technology. Wow. Wow. Why are they trying to buy the patent of this product? Really? America and Europe. Hey, whoa. Hey. Why do you think they wanted to buy it? Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Yes. All of you are right. Yes, all of you are correct. But you know, the man said no. But he has refused to sell. J'avais voulu que pour une fois, on montre sur le continent qu'on peut inventer, accompagner une invention jusqu'à son développement et la matérialiser par l'industrialisation du produit. Imagine how much money they must have offered this man, America and Europe. Why? <laughs> this man should be celebrated for real. If he sold it to them, you know how much they would want to sell the product to people? In fact, Color the world is saying that they probably won't even bring it to Africa once they buy it off, you know? The sad thing is, because he refused to sell the patent, he's finding it hard to find investors. Standing his ground has meant that Victor has been battling to secure non-commercial funding for the PwC project for several years. Yeah, yep. I posted the full video on my blog. Make sure you watch it. I was really moved by his story. His African friends are the ones that are contributing money for him to go through with this project. It's very sad that some people are saying it's way too cheap for it to work. Can you imagine? But the thing is working. I don't even think that the government of his country, Togo, has invited him yet to bring the product. Meanwhile, the Senegalese government already invited him. So this call in this video is in Dakar, Senegal. Again, if you know how we can contact this man, please don't hesitate and i hope that somebody in the nigerian government is watching invite the man this will solve so many of our problems <laughs> make sure you track him down you now do well my brother we are all very proud of you once again you guys now don't know much guess what i'm just keeping it real <laughs>